Hi guys, how are you tonight? It's Kimmy, Kimmy T is me. Um, I have a little Bath and Body Works haul for you. And I recently posted a Victoria's Secret haul. And in that video, I did um, compliment uh, Victoria's Secret for the way they package um, the stuff they send me in the mail. And how I told you that Bath and Body Works um, Definitely packs theirs differently, and I decided to leave this together so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, because this is not a big order, and usually that's what I have is a bigger order, um, you're probably not going to understand the, the depth of why I cannot stand the way they package things, because this is a smaller box. But just keep in mind that if I had about 10 more things in here, the box would be substantially bigger, and everything would be tossed in like... It, it, it irritates the hell out of me. So here's how mine was being packaged. So like I said, this is a smaller box, okay? So you might not grasp, you know, really how bad this is. This is an okay box. But all they come in are two useless air pocket things. Useless, useless. And then everything just shoved in. Like I said, if I, per actually, if I had purchased five more bottles, the box would be substantially bigger and everything would just be tough. It came in a mishmash, hodgepodge. Two of the things that, um, two of the body sprays came with their caps off as per usual. So you're getting thrown all over the place. You hear that? Thrown all over the place. I cannot stand it. Bath and Body Works, you should know better by now. How long you been in business and you're sending out stuff so terribly packaged? What's your deal? Okay. Yeah, you got some great smelling stuff. That's the only reason why I keep coming back to you. Okay. But other than that, your packaging sucks sucks okay okay rant over let's get into the haul okay okay first is i have only the lotion or the body cream in the bahamas passionate fruit passion fruit and banana flower okay i already have the body spray that i had ordered on a whim like because I needed one more item to fill my buy three get three type of thing and I ordered it and I loved it and it was fabulous so I had always regretted that I'd not gotten the uh matching lotion so that they didn't have the regular lotion they only had the body cream so I bought that however on the body spray it's called Bahamas pink passion fruit and banana flower explain explain why you couldn't remember to bring the pink over explain okay anyway there's it I'm on a roll tonight, people. I'm on a roll. I've had a bad, bad week. Okay. No, I had a fabulous week until yesterday or last night. All right. I'm not even going to get into it. Okay. So that could be, that could be a little bit of my testing. Okay. Anyway. Um, back to what we're here for. Next, um, I ordered two bottles of the Beach Nights Summer Marshmallow Body Lotion. Uh, body spray and anything else matching with it, we're sold out. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm secretly glad because had I purchased it, and not, because you gotta think, I don't go into Bath and Body Works store very often, okay? There will have to be a list of things that I need to smell in order for me to show up there because I'm lazy. Uh, I am definitely an online shopper. So I go by descriptions and reviews and I'm, it's not always pans out for me um however if you don't know i do not waste anything so even if i buy it and don't like it that's okay i will continue to use it and it'll just become an only leg lotion you know what i mean because i don't always put my best stuff on my legs do you know what i mean it's always gotta sm smell good but not my favorite smells go on my legs because because right it's the upper half that you want smelling good. so anyway so yeah um it's description is like keynotes, toasted marshmallows, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beach driftwood, creamy vanilla. Let me just explain how I smell zero marshmallow, okay? Another thing about me is I love marshmallow, I love cotton candy, I love blueberry, you know what I mean? Pretty specific. However, it's not like I won't dabble with other scents, but those are my favorites, right? No, no marshmallow. I smell zero marshmallow in this, so I'm, I'm annoyed, okay? What I do smell, is vanilla and s'mores 
So, I mean, it's not terrible. It's just, I was expecting a marshmallow scent. So this is gonna become a leg lotion, to be honest with you, okay? Oh, I didn't tell you what uh, Bahamas passion fruit banana flower smells like, if you can't tell by the name. Um, it's fragrance notes were passion fruit, pineapple leaves, frisia, frisia petals, banana flower, and amber. And what do I smell? Pretty much everything I just read you, but um, really heavy on the pineapple and the banana flower, and it smells friggin' fabulous. Who knew that that combination would be fab? Actually, I do smell a little of that pineapple. Who am I kidding? <laughs> Delete. Um, yeah, it smells, it smells fabulous. Okay. Uh, next, I purchased, okay, here's a backstory. The following scent came out, not last year, the year before. You know how, like, if, if you don't know, Bath & Body Works usually comes out with, like, their winter Christmassy scents sometime in November-ish. And as the time moves on, as we get into December, they usually do, a, a, like, a one last round of what I would, I always called, like, their New Year's, like, their, like, one timeies New Year's -y thingies because they're not necessary, not always necessarily a, a Christmas scent, but a holiday scent. Okay, if that doesn't make sense. It does in my head. But so this came out and now last year I don't recall them having a last minute push on a new product around Christmas. I don't. Doesn't mean it didn't happen. Just means I don't remember it. But this was the year before. I'm pretty sure. And if it wasn't the year before, it was the year before. Okay, it was a last minute push. And oh my God, in my opinion, it was their second best ever. Second best meaning it's this scent is in the top spot is, is the first, but one came up before it, so it got to second place. Um, I'm so weird when it comes to scents. I know this, but the scent is called, um, not on here, Wrapped in Sugar. This is the bottle it came in. It's got sparklies. It's pretty, it's pretty bottle. Um, well... It's friggin' fabulous, and I, I per because I, I'm like, I have a feeling I'm gonna love it. I wonder, does it, no, it does not. Let me read this, hold on. Its notes are coconut martini, marshmallow musk, soft amber, and warm woods. Okay, what do I smell? I smell marshmallow musk, a touch of warm woods, some caramel, caramel caramel uh and some vanilla and i don't smell coconut and i don't smell well i guess i smell everything but the, the coconut huh but i add caramel caramel and I mean, oh, like a touch of caramel not yours not smothered but the like a warm vanilla sugar which is a scent by bath and body works i swear is like a drop of it in here mixed together but that marshmallow musk just yes However, I don't want to tell you that this is a heavy marshmallow scent. It's not, but it's perfection. It is a wonderful scent that I'm obsessed with, and it does... Oh, God. I can't think of a name. Okay, I had to look something really up, up quick. I want to tell you that Bath & Body Works scent, warm vanilla sugar, plus brown sugar and fig, are all sisters of this scent. They are sisters, especially that brown sugar and fig. They are like, they are definitely sisters, okay? So if you can get like that kind of vibe, but the marshmallow's definitely there, I wouldn't have bought it, right? It smells friggin' fabulous. And fabulous, 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 to the point that I think everybody else thought so because the only thing left, literally, okay, was, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, shower gel and the body sprays, which I'm more of a body spray person anyway, you know, I'm happy with the, the just having the, the body spray of a scent. You know what I mean? If I'm lucky, I'll get the lotion. But if I got the body spray, I'm good to go. So I, I, grabbed, a, I grabbed at least eight or nine bottles of it. And I've gone through, I can't even tell you now. And if you only knew how many bottles of, of stuff I have for, so for me to grab you over and over and over, I love your scent, period. So wrapped in sugar, it should have came back as a permanent scent. I'm telling you, it's that good. It is that good. It's a beautiful fall, winter. However, because it has that, I, I think that like a warm sugar or sugar scented anything because it can pass as cotton candy, marshmallow, they can go year round. You don't have to limit yourself, but this came out in winter. So I associate it with that. It is fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. Okay. Enough to where I wanted the lotion. 
I couldn't get it because it was sold out. And it stayed sold out. They did not replenish. For some reason, the body spray came back up. So I'm like, you know what? Let me snag, snag another one of them, of which I did. And I was lucky to finally get my hands on some lotion. So I grabbed two of the body lotions. Okay. Exciting over here. Right, I'll that review. I'm so, so happy. Okay. So that was like, yay. And um, quickly moving on. And we're all, we are actually about to be done. One of my favorite scents that got retired, other than Pink Chiffon. Um, and, and I think Pink Cashmere got retired too. God, I, Bath and Body Works, you just don't know what you're doing up in there. And what's the other one that I love? Oh, Velvet Sugar. Also. Um, oh, really quick. Sorry. Can you tell them, Hyper? That wrapped in sugar, I told you that brown sugar and fig, um, warm vanilla sugar were sisters of that scent, so that you can get an idea. S Velvet Sugar is a definite sister to that scent. Those three scents combined are all related. They're that good. Okay. All right. I'll stop. I'm getting, I'm getting all excited. Okay. So one of my old favorites, and trust me, I have a list of things that I love that they canceled or discontinued, but if they discontinue them and leave them online as retired, but you could still purchase, I'm okay with it. And that's like my pink chiffon is my ultimate because that's what I consider my cotton candy, even though it's not exactly cotton candy, but you know what I'm saying? That's like my love. Like I will always have pink sugar around me somewhere, but pink sugar, pink chiffon. Um, but one of my favorites that was retired and then absolutely gotten rid of was black raspberry vanilla. Okay. This scent is the, is soft. It's not obnoxious. It is the perfect berry slash. Now I say berry because raspberry is prominent. There's no doubt, but there's, I swear I smell a little bit of blueberry in there. I swear I do. So I say berry, but it is black raspberry. Um, and I, black raspberry should be right up out there with my blueberry. Like, I love both those scents, okay? Black raspberry, I love it too, so I should have said that. Oh, my God. Drink some more friggin' caffeine, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, so it's just a beautiful light scent that you can pull off any time of the year. And it's just, oh, I was so disappointed when they got rid of it. Well, people, they brought it back. They brought it back. It's got new packaging, new look. They brought it back. I can't believe it either. So um, I do still I do still have some old bottles um, to go through of that scent, but I figured I better stock up of that new stuff. So I bought a lotion, a body spray, and a shower gel, and I'm hoping they keep it along, you know, around enough to their next big sale. And I'm gonna get a couple more bottles to stock back up because I, you know me, I am cuckoo for cocoa puffs when it calls when it comes to smell me goods. I am I am cuckoo for cocoa puffs. If I feel it's gonna run out and I'm not gonna be able to have it anymore, I need 60,000 bottles of it just in case. And honey, if you remember, if you put it in a dark, cool place, it can last a long time. If you, I don't understand people, don't get me wrong, like perfume bottles, I get it, they're pretty. You wanna see them on display. But if they are not scents that you are going to wear on the daily or pretty close to the daily, if they're hitting sunlight, I don't care what you say, they, or deteriorating faster or degrading faster than they would if you left them in their box in a cool dark place okay take my advice only the ones that you're using on a really regular basis should be the ones that are on display but quite frankly i don't keep any of mine on display because i like my shit to last okay but if it's really something obnoxious that you love and you've really stocked up and you got a lot of product and you're really concerned that you're not going to get through it put them in the refrigerator last longer and I will tell you this little something I'll tell you back in the day uh, there was this wonderful scent by um, Bath and Body Works that they brought out as a limited kind of like how wrapped in sugar was a limited edition one timey thing uh, they brought it out so I got smart it was, I believe it was called moon dust and they uh, they were getting rid of it I knew it I stocked up and I knew I wasn't gonna be touching it anyway because certain limited edition things back in the day I just didn't want to use because I didn't want to uh, like run out of it because that's crazy uh, I put it in my fridge and it was in my fridge literally five or six years took it out put it on it smelled like I just bought it putting it in their fridge slows down the degrading or deterioration rate. There's some useless trivia or useless knowledge for you. Anyway, that's the end of my haul. 
black uh black raspberry vanilla oh I'll, let me tell you it's uh fragrance notes are fresh raspberries vine ripened blackberries vanilla orchid creamy sandalwood and cashmere woods and it's freaking fabulous if you like very light not in your face berry scents you will like this okay but that's it that's my haul peeps that's all i got for you so thumbs up to bath and body works for making things like this available to me and then thumbs down for your packaging okay and that's that thank you very much for watching and if you were entertained by my bike cuckoo for cocoa puffs obnoxiousness when it comes to smell me goods feel free to like and even subscribe to my video and i will talk to you very very soon you have a fabulous night